Hello and welcome back to another video. This time around I have this little chip amplifier and out of about the four or five different kinds that I've tested this one seems to be my favorite and um, it's a TPA 3116D2 and the supply voltage 30 volts max but recommended 4.5 to 26 volts so first off I want to find a power supply suitable for it this transformer here was salvaged from a UPS a uni uh, uninterruptible power supply from Goodwill it was no good the battery was actually cracked open so I just salvaged a few components out of it it was about I believe it was four dollars and this is a quite a hefty hefty transformer so I'd pay four dollars for that any day I used a dim bulb tester to find out you know what was the input and the output I marked these earlier black and white input black and white output and 16 volts so uh, let me just confirm that I still have the power lead soldered directly on to remind me which one was actually in so I'll make sure not to let these touch and I check the voltage real quick but um, yeah, anything that I do here, you know, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything, so if you try any of these things, you're doing so at your own risk. So I'm going to plug this up. I see that none of the wires are touching. Well, maybe. There we go. And I'm going to use a true RMS voltmeter in AC mode and I marked well yeah should be black and white here black and white we're looking at 15.94 alright I have a bridge rectifier here KBPC5010 I'm gonna hook it up real quick to convert the AC to DC now with the voltage drop of the diodes and everything let's see what this reads in DC this should be positive negative wait I gotta plug the transformer back up <coughs> Alright, making sure I'm not touching anything. Go ahead and stick this in the hole. One, two. 14.39 volts DC. Alright, so I found this salvaged Rubicon 25 volt capacitor. 2200 microfarads so let's go ahead and add that to the circuit negative positive and negative positive Alright, nothing exploded, so so far so good. Now, positive, negative. That brought it up to 21 volts exactly. Alright, so with that capacitor, this transformer, looks like we've got about 21 volts. I have 26 volts, so that's pretty damn good. I think this is what I'll go with. The speaker I want to use for this amplifier is this will be mono, by the way. So I know audio files would laugh, but it's this cheap Boss five and a half inch speaker. Reason being is because you know I only have one left. I used the other one in a project before, and it's just sitting around doing nothing. And I literally paid 
twelve thirty seven for two of these back in April. So it's been sitting on a shelf since April. Now I want to finally give it a use. And as far as the box goes for the speaker, it's another Goodwill sal salvage. It's quite big. It's uh, got some sticky residue on it. I'm going to have to clean it up. But it's RCA. It had like a little 30 watt speaker in it before that was 6 ohms. So, you know, I kind of did away with that. Put this in here. I just have it sitting in there right now. It's not actually bolted in or anything. And put the original cover back on it. But it should be pretty nice when it's all said and done. So now I gotta make sure that the uh, this pretty massive transformer is actually gonna fit in this box. I'll have to unsolder the cord here in a minute, but yep, just barely fits. Yep, it fits down in there. So I'll get that mounted in. Oh, and um. It originally just had a speaker cord coming out, so I chopped that off, and I will have to take that out, and that will be where the power cord comes in. So that's probably my next step. Got the line cord soldered on, and I used a different one because the one that came with it had a ground, and you know, this is a wooden box. There's nothing exposed metal, so I just got a two prong on here. So now. Oh, and I, earlier, well, it's been a while since I tested this transformer, but I put some heat shrink on one of them, and I noticed I got this red one still exposed, so I'm thinking it's a different voltage besides 16, probably lower, so I want to check real quick what that one is. Maybe I can make use of it, too, somehow. So let's see, instead of going from black to white, Oh, okay, 8 volts. That makes sense. It's just a center tap. Alright, I don't know if I'll use that yet or not. The voltage was a little too high for comfort with that 25 volt cap, so I decided to go with this 35 volt 8200 microfarad. And I put it on this little board with some hot glue, which I'm still kind of waiting for it to dry. While I was at it, <clears throat> I went ahead and hooked this was a new hot gun, hot glue gun, first time I ever used it. I hooked it up to a meter and looked at the watts and, you know, kept it plugged up until the wattage stabilized and lowered and lowered to find out how long it really took to reach temperature. And it was about 13 minutes. So yeah, it's a good idea if you're going to use a at least a high temp hot glue gun like this to plug it up for a good, probably 15 minutes to be safe. And, uh... Then you know it's good to go. Before proceeding further, putting everything in the box and all that, I want to verify that the little amplifier board's even working. So I've already verified that the the transformer now is putting out um, 21.45 volts DC with the new capacitor out of 26 volts, so it shouldn't blow up the amplifier. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. A little light came on, so that's a good sign. Let's see. Got my 3.5 millimeter jack. I heard the speaker crackling, so that's another good sign. Get my phone. Let's see, load up some music now. Some copyright free music. Yep, it works. Well, I can proceed further then. While I'm at it, I like to confirm that the amplifier is not putting out any DC voltage to the speakers. 
because, you know, that's a pretty bad thing. So I'm going to play a 60 hertz sine wave. I'm making sure I got the volume all the way up on the amplifier, volume all the way up on the phone, and volume all the way up in this app, Frequency Sound Generator. So it's now playing. Millivolts. Three millivolts. 2.93 millivolts. So that's nothing to worry about. And uh, let's go ahead and see what the actual voltage, speaker voltage is, AC current. 3.934 volts and that's putting out all it can pretty much you know volume all the way up sine wave 3.934 since this is mono setup and you know this is a stereo amplifier I didn't want to just waste the other channel pretty much so I got this LED hooked up to two diodes and a current limiting resistor. And uh, I think I'm going to integrate it into the porthole or something like that. And here's a little demo of it. Alright, I think you get the idea. Well, that concludes another project. I've just got two cords coming out the back with some hot glue. Unfortunately, I don't have any more silicone. I've got the line cord and 3.5 millimeter with the volume knob on it. Not that I ever need it with a phone, but just kind of future proofing it there. And uh, I still haven't got the tape residue off. So yeah, I guess I'll play a little demo song now. Oh, and I got the LED in the porthole, so I'll show you that too. <laughs> Thanks for watching.